Well folks, MSI has accidentally unveiled its next generation X570 chipset powered products for AMD Ryzen 3000 CPUs which include the MEG or MEG X570 ACE and the X570 Gaming Plus boards. While we've already seen a couple of X570 motherboards from MSI, this is the first time that they are officially previewing their new products prior to the official announcement at Computex 2019. The AMD X570 and Ryzen 3000 CPUs are just a week away from their official announcement and it looks like MSI wanted to give us an early preview of what they're unveiling at the event. We've already seen two X570 motherboards from MSI in previous leaks, but we have got a, just a bit more information on the upcoming products along with the first look at their enthusiast class x570 products the msi has since removed the video from youtube the msi meg or meg x570 ace motherboard is the enthusiast tier offering which is part of the enthusiast gaming lineup and then hence MSI Enthusiast Gaming or MEG. The motherboard rocks an impressive 14 plus 2 phase VRM design and is powered by dual 8 pin connectors. This motherboard should allow for some pretty good overclocking on AMD Ryzen 3000 series processors. The motherboard has a solid design layout with both the DDR4 DIMMs and PCIe slots shielded by a metal brace. There are four DDR4 DIMM slots on the board which would support up to 64 gigabytes of memory capacity with speeds beyond 4000 megahertz with an OC. There appears to be at least six SATA 3 ports for storage on a right angled USB port and a BIOS debug LED right beneath the SATA ports. In terms of expansion, the motherboard has three PCIe 4.0 by 16 slots, two PCIe 4.0 by one slots, and triple M.2 slots, all of which are covered with MSI's own thermal heatsink solution. The chipset has a massive heatsink which includes an LED display with the MSI Dragon logo and has vents which cover the propeller blade fan that comes with MSI's Zero Frozer technology which essentially stops the fan when it's not under much load. The board also has a full coverage heat pipe that runs from the chipset heatsink all the way to the top VRM heatsinks. MSI is also using their Infinity display around the I.O. cover which looks amazing when the board is running. In terms of I.O., the board has a clear CMOS switch, a BIOS flashback switch, PS2 ports, 8 USB ports, which are a mix of USB 3.0, 3.1, Gen 1, and Gen 2, as well as dual gigabit Ethernet LAN ports, a 7.1 HD audio jack, and two antenna jacks, which support Wi-Fi 6. They also showed off the MSI X570 Gaming Plus, which is a more budget tier offering with standard aluminum heat sinks, which are placed over what looks like a six or eight phase VRM supply. Power to the socket is supplied through an eight plus four pin connector configuration, and we can spot the whole red and black aesthetics across the motherboard, and storage option includes six SATA three ports, while expansion slots include two PCIe 4.0 by 16, which are by 16 and by eight electrically, three PCIe 4.0 by one slots and two M.2 slots. The motherboard also features an active fan cooling on the chipset heatsink, which looks to be of the same design as MSI's twin browser series graphics cards. The MSI Gaming Plus X470 was priced under $140 US. So we can see that even the entry level X570 boards require active chipset cooling, which could highlight slightly higher thermals than the existing X470 and X370 chipsets. Well folks, with only being seemingly hours away, it feels like things are getting harder and harder for folks to contain. I'm not sure if we've asked this question yet or not, but are you more excited for the more budget-minded X570 motherboards or do you want more exotic high-end X570 boards? Either way, please leave your comment down below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you and the next one.